Hello traders and welcome to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market brought to you by myself Kurt Capra and Pristine Trading. And if you have any questions you can always email me directly Kurt at pristine.com. As always please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And in addition to that, keep in mind that Pristine offers a free series of webinars each and every single week. This week we've got an excellent uh, schedule, as always, starting Monday, August 3rd at 4.15 with Paul Lang and the most critical part of making money on any trade. Followed up by Thursday, August 6th at noon with a live midday trade and market review. And also on Thursday, August 6th at 4.15, a discussion of trading strategies with President and CEO of Pristine, Greg Capra. And as always, you can also check out www.pristine.com for our full schedule of upcoming webinars. Taking a look at where things are at to start the week here. We've got in the upper left Euro US dollar, which as you can see continues to slowly bleed lower with lower highs and lower lows, but pretty volatile overall. There's been a lot of uh, whips back and forth, and it's for this reason that we've had to be a little more conservative in targets, in expectations, because in, in, in reality, we're not really trending anywhere. Yeah, we've had a series of lower highs and lower lows, but this has simply brought us down to the bottom of the range, which you can see on this weekly chart. Last several weeks, we've just been stuck between these highs and these lows. So uh, we'll see if, if we don't get some additional weakness. Last week did close with a topping tail, which indicates that increased uh, amounts of supply came in. Uh, the question is, can we break under that topping tail bars low? And if so, then it's very likely that we come down to retest these prior lows from around uh, March. So that's kind of what we'll be looking for. But overall, again, until we get a clear break, volatility is high. Targets should be a bit more conservative with regard to Euro US dollar. Moving on over, Aussie US dollar here, downtrending, pretty sloppy overall. I mean, we're not getting clean retracements and, and movements to the downside. But what we are seeing is just steady amounts of supply. Every green bar is having no follow through, which tells us that supply is strong. So this pair, as we've reviewed in previous videos, and you can go and, and look for yourself, has plenty of room to move lower. We've got a monthly breakdown that has a tremendous amount of room to fall. So uh, overall, the expectation is for this pair to continue weakening and finding intraday opportunities would result in, in um what should be some good follow through lower that one can profit uh, on moving on over to new zealand dollar us dollar this pair has been in a downtrend of late has been trying to stabilize we can see a little retracement lower high that resulted in our first higher low in some time uh, we then made a higher high which again we haven't really seen in, in some time but all this did was run up into this resistance to the left so for that reason it's no surprise that price has fallen back down to this prior pivot low area the question now is will this hold will this area hold as support or does enough supply come in to resume the overall weakness that this downtrend has has been displaying in the past if we look at the weekly chart we can see again steady downtrend topping tails here the last two weeks telling us that supply is still uh, significantly in control and so overall the expectation would be for price to continue dropping uh, the monthly chart here has been falling just to give a little more perspective it's got this little uh, low right here which isn't anything of major significance and beyond that I mean we've got plenty of air below to fall down into so things definitely could continue to weaken here as well it's just going to be a question of whether or not this low can break if it does I don't see any reason why this prior low here from uh, you know mid July will offer any real significant stabilization so trend down primary uh, bias is bearish but we do have to understand that we're at support and that could 
cause a little bit more volatility. So again, having some of those more conservative targets, not really looking for any huge movement until we can get uh, a more clear, definitive direction established. Moving on down to the bottom right, US dollar yen. This pair, as we've been talking about, it's uh, bullish overall because of the weekly. We had a strong rally up into the top of resistance. We're now getting what we refer to as a shakeout. This is a pattern that we teach in our Forex program, in our Forex course. Uh, but this is what we refer to as a shakeout, indicating that demand is increasing and we will be looking for price to rally above this resistance on its way up towards this prior high and really even beyond that so us dollar yen looking good overall definitely a pair that is uh, getting itself together at least it would seem so and we would be looking for this to move higher uh, just to show you the weekly that i was referencing here's your bottoming tail at support after a breakout nice move up little consolidation here so this uh, seems to be kind of coiling itself up if you will getting ready to spring higher and that's exactly what we will be looking for. Moving on over, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, middle bottom chart. Nice, steady uptrend in place. We did have a little bit of additional supply coming in, but that wasn't anything of... Uh, too too much bearishness it wasn't anything that really uh, changed the overall picture if anything it just fell into a little minor support area or just on top of it and we've now seen a nice little rally to the upside so overall this pair continues to perform very well very steady in its upside movement and uh, it's it's been like i said slow and steady so you've had to be a little more um nimble a little more conservative with with targets especially if you're not somebody that has the patience to sit through these slow steady kind of grinding trends which is fine um, you know getting in and out on each and every pullback and or breakout is absolutely fine but again this has been a pretty steady trend higher if we look at the weekly chart uh, you can see very healthy movement to the upside and really i mean it looks like it can continue to move higher so we want to maintain a bullish bias overall, looking for pullbacks and breakouts to be buyable. But as I said, things have been a little more um, choppy, a, a little bit more grinding in nature. So just keep that in mind. And, and if you're a patient trader, you know, just as I said, keep that in mind, be willing to sit with it. And if you're not a patient trader, as I also said, just be more conservative in your, in your targets. It's not to say you shouldn't trade this. You should just keep in mind what, what the possibilities are. And just to go to the four-hour time frame, you know, you can see there has been some volatility, but quick little moves up um, have certainly been opportunities that one could take advantage of. You know, nice little breakout here. This was on a, a news-driven event, but then you got this consolidation. You could have pulled some pips out of that move. Pull back to support, you could have pulled some pips out of that move there. So, again, it all depends on your approach, your bias, what kind of trader you are. Are you more patient or are you, are you less patient? Do you want to see the money quickly and you're not comfortable sitting through pullbacks? Look, there's, there's a, a place for every trader. You just have to know who you are and then have rules in place to... Um, let let your personality thrive in whatever the environment may be. Yeah. Moving on over to the bottom left, pound US dollar. This pair has really been stuck within a range. Every time it comes up to this 0.5684 area, it continues to get rejected. So that is a clear line in the sand as far as resistance is concerned. If price can break above this area, then I don't see a reason why we wouldn't be able to get a nice move up towards this prior high. And this resi this little resistance right in here I don't even think would be a major issue because of how long we've been going sideways trying to deal with this area right here. So if we break out, probably going to see a nice uh, rally towards this prior high. On the other hand, if we come all the way back down to these prior lows, we'll see what kind of uh, demand is down here. And if it holds, okay, then we probably move back to the top of the range. If not, then we're coming back to this prior low 
and probably lower. So we've got our reference points here. It's it's going to be a lot of wait and see if you're looking to do anything on pound US dollar before we get a break one way or the other. It would just simply be playing the top and the bottom of the range. Interestingly enough, and something worth noting, we are starting to see a little bit of a consolidation at the top of this range, which may be an indication that buyers are stepping up and getting a little more confident. But of course, time will tell. Just to get a bit more perspective here, the weekly chart, as we've talked about in previous videos, has pulled back here and is, is set up nicely for a move higher. It's just, again, going to be a question of whether or not we can get above the top of this resistance, the top of this range, that line in the sand that we saw on the daily. If so, then as you can see, there's plenty of upside potential here. So, uh, like I said, time will tell. This is this is the line in the sand right here on the daily chart. We are starting to uh, see this consolidating a bit more at the top of the range, which could be a, a positive indication. We'll have to see. But ultimately, it's got to break above and close above the top of this range. If it cannot do that and it comes back down, as I said, we'll have to see what kind of demand comes in. If it holds, then we probably go back to the top of the range. If not, then we could come down here and even lower. So keep your eyes peeled for those reference points, for those changes in, in uh, the dynamic here. And we'll see where things go over the course of this week. But until the next time, guys, uh, as always, stay patient. Stay disciplined, stay confident. We'll see you in the next video. And as I said, if you have any questions, you can email me directly, Kurt at pristine.com, or simply uh, comment in the comments section below, and we will address any questions, comments, concerns you may have. And also make sure to follow this channel so that you can continue to receive updates when videos become available. All right, until next time, trade well, and we'll see you in the next video.